Yeah. And I would also say that when guys date single mothers or they marry single mothers or they wife, wife them up, whatever, they are making a compromise. When, when, um, when a guy marries a single mother that I would, this is just me, but that guy's beta. That is a beta male adaptive mating strategy. It's solving your reproductive problem. What that says is I can't find find or um, get with a girl who doesn't have any baggage, doesn't have any children, but here's this other girl. I can't, uh, the, my sexual opportunities are few and far between, but here's this single mom who really needs me. And I'm going to be the dad, not the stepdad, but the dad who stepped up. I don't care. I'll adopt her kids. I love them. They love me too. And again, maybe that morally and ethically, that's a good thing. Practically, it is going, it's the same as going to college and getting a useless degree. Marrying and wifing up a single mother is the same as going to college and getting a useless degree because its return on investment is minimal, whereas the investment is maximal. So the idea is this. Well, if I take care of her baby daddy's kids, then I stand a higher chance of reproducing with her. And if DNA and passing on my genes is, to the next generation is important, well, maybe that's a better adaptive strategy than trying to do what I've been doing because the, you know, single chicks don't have anything to do with me. Maybe I got to get an older one. Maybe I got to get a fatter one. Maybe I got to get a one with, uh, you know, that's a different nationality. You got to go could be a passport bro, right? Passport bros are just solving their reproductive problem. Guys who wife up single mothers, solving their reproductive problem. Guys who are chubby chasers, solving your reproductive problem. And guy, you can understand how many women have fetishes. I, I would argue that if of the very few that do, they probably learn them from a guy, but primarily men have fetishes. They, oh, I prefer women who are a little heavier. No, you don't. It's just the easy, it's, it's the easiest, it's the easiest method between point A and point B, right? It's how am I going to solve my problem? Well, I can't do it the way I would want to, but you know what? What if I condition myself to like women from this particular part of the world? Or what if I condition myself or what if I was sexually successful with older women? Like I'm going to get with a cougar because it's easier to get with a cougar. What if my preferences are for women who've already had kids? Those preferences come out as a result of having been sexually successful or the belief that they will be sexually successful in the future because it's an adaptive strategy to solve your reproductive problem. That is it.